The Ermi testing kit comes with a dust cassette, chain of custody form, and sterile gloves. Before choosing to collect an Ermi sample, ensure that you have masking tape, a vacuum with a hose attachment, and carpet. In order for your analysis to be classified as an Ermi, ensure that you collect your sample on carpet. Any dust sample not collected on carpet would be considered a SIM sample, which is a survey of indoor molds. The US EPA recommends collecting the composite sample from the living room and the master bedroom. Start out by applying your gloves. Using masking tape, tape up a six by three foot rectangle in both locations. You will then remove the bottom white cap from the dust collector and attach it to your vacuum's hose. Then, remove the top white cap and begin vacuuming the entirety of the rectangle for five minutes. Avoid making contact with the inside of the rectangle. If contact must be made, we recommend to wear gloves and or protective coveralls to prevent contamination of the sample. After you finish vacuuming the first area, keep your cassette pointing upwards, reattach your white cap, and move to the second location. Once you arrive at the second location, turn on your vacuum first, then remove your white cap. This will help prevent from any dust spilling out of the cassette. Now you can begin vacuuming the second location. Once you finish vacuuming both areas, place both white caps back on the cassette. Now it's time to fill out your chain of custody form. Start out by filling out your name, address, phone number, and email. You will then write down a sample ID and record each room that the sample was taken in. Be sure to write down your sample ID on the collection device to match up what's written on the sheet. Next, you will write down a project name, the area that you vacuumed, how long you vacuumed, and additional comments. At the bottom of the page, you will sign, date, and list the time you sent your sample in. In the end, your form should look like this. You will then place your dust cassette in a Ziploc bag, fold up your chain of custody form, and ship it to our lab. Now your sample is ready for testing.